On a remote desert floor covered with power links and giant windmills, my wife and I decided to test out our newly purchased portable target rig. It's the first time I've traded the usual empty jugs and cans for a set of steel gongs. I bought this rig from Shooting Target 7, and it's certainly easy to transport and set up. It's just a 2x4 and a couple of sturdy scissors stands held together with a couple of carriage bolts, and is ready to go in a couple of minutes. I used an old 2x4 from my woodpile and inserted eye screws to clip the gongs to. I bought all this hardware from my local store, but Shooting Target 7 has a hardware kit in case you don't feel like saddling up. For gongs, I had an 8, 6er, and 3 inch. They're a half inch thick and should hang at an angle to the ground to deflect the bullet down, as you can see in slow motion. This statuesque gunslinger is my wife. Die, you stinking raccoon. This is a raccoon, taped to one of the gongs. One night at the old ranch house, I heard something munching on cat food. A large raccoon raced by me and scurried down the hall, running into my wife as she came around the corner. The raccoon got away through a screen door, but my beautiful cowgirl hit the floor, busting her hip. Her doctor prescribed some gunslinger therapy. Now we're even. It was time to christen the guns with various calibers of rifles and pistols. The rifles were fired at about 50 yards. The large caliber 53 struck with such force that a loose nut flew off leaving the gong dangling. Now, if you don't want your gong dangling lower than normal, always tighten your nuts and carry some extra hardware, too. Yeah. My highly accurate AK really rang those gongs. Okay. Next came the pistolas. I used the leg extensions to raise the gongs. After a barrage of various calibers, the half inch of hardened steel just showed superficial marks, no dimples. On those cold mornings, no modern trail boss would ever pass up the chance to impress the hell out of his trail hands by warming up his favorite trail snack, Twinkies. Well, after a long day of shooting out here in the desert, 
One gets mighty thirsty, and I look forward to my demi tasse of espresso. Mmm. And it goes well with a Twinkie that's been drilled and nice and toasty warm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Man, is that a good way to end a day at the range. So long.